Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to install Rust on Raspberry Pi 4. Now, I was thinking of starting a Rust series and then I thought I have a Raspberry Pi, so why not start on Raspberry Pi? So here I am connected to the Pi board. And just so we are on the same page, uh, this is Raspberry Pi 4 using architecture 64 bit. So the first thing that we should do is make sure that we are up to date. In the meantime, let's get over to Chrome and what you can search for is uh, install Rust and that will land you on to install Rust programming language page, which gives you a, a simple command to execute and that will take care of setting up Rust environment for you. So let's copy this and head over back to our Raspberry Pi. So on this, this is going to install Rust and it will actually install Rust up, which in turn sets up your cargo Rust package, which is a Rust package manager. It will set up everything for you, uh, set up the environment path and everything. At this prompt, it's asking us whether we want to go with the default installation, which is here, or if you want to change or customize the installation that you want. We are going to go with the first one. So basically, this installation provides you with the basic components that are required for you to get started with Rust. It is going to give you Cargo, Rust C, Rust Format, Rust Standard, and Clippy. So as of now, you can either close the current uh, session on, on your terminal, or you can just continue, which will actually, if you reopen your session in, in a new window of your terminal, it will set up the current the right path that is required but for now what we're going to do is just set the uh, source the environment file so that we can continue using the same session and with that we should be able to do rust c version my bad so it's rust hyphen capital v and we can also do rust up hyphen V, the caps. And the next thing we also have, in fact, you can actually take a look at Rust hyphen LA, LZ, LS hyphen LA, let me clear the terminal. And if you look at the home directory, you should see Rust up. And we also have cargo. So we are all set to go ahead with our first project. So when I generally prefer to create a workspace directory in my home workspace, and I prefer to put everything inside workspace. So I can do cargo new and we want to create a binary or you, you can actually skip it because binary is the default. You can just say hello world. And if you look now, we have a hello world. Let's get inside hello world. And if we do our tree, we have things set up for us. Now we can actually do uh, a cat on src main.rs. So this is the initial file that has been written for us. By default, we can directly go ahead and run it with cargo. We can use cargo build, which will build uh, the project and what it will do, it will generate uh, a binary for us in under targets and a debug. And if you were to use cargo build hyphen hyphen release, this will create another directory under target, which will have the name as release. So if we do ls target, we have now debug and release. You can run either of them or you can just simply go ahead and run cargo run, which will run our program and say hello world. Congratulations, you have just now set up 
Rust programming environment on your Raspberry Pi. In the next video, we will set up our Rust environment a little more sophisticatedly. So we will be installing NeoVim and set up LSP so that we can work with Rust on Raspberry Pi. Stay tuned.